I asked them if they would uh nice. Oh U-line bags too, what the hell? It's so cold. Yeah, so cold. Oh this is the cold pack. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I got you for a hundred bucks. Pretty decent sized francs. Wow. They're pretty legit. I was expecting little tiny ass. No. I lost my train of thought. Um, I had asked that girl to label, mm -hmm. and then I had sent like a shirt. Like, They get them in a big wild colonies and they just cut them up. Oh, you so know, they're straight from the ocean. Probably, yeah, that's why they're gonna be harder. <laughs> they did a good job packing them, though. Yeah, I don't know, like I thought they were using all the U line, but because U line is the company I deal with when I order stuff. Yeah. all going to be voice oil, voice over. <laughs> so I wonder if their Zoas are well, from the ocean. The Zoas, a lot of their Zoas are supposed to be deep water Zoas. Uh -huh. Yeah, but like Fruit Loops and stuff like that. For 100 bucks, that's not bad at all. And it's shipped. Yeah. You gotta think shipping's usually like, what, 30 bucks? 30 bucks. So basically, I mean, you're getting no name, but at least on the Zoas, you kind of see what you're getting. Well, guys, I brought some frags home. The uh, order was 11 SPS for $100 shipped. Uh, it sounds a little bit too good to be true. So me and um, buddy Paul went half and half on the order. I figured $50 isn't a whole lot of money to spend uh, just in case the order did suck. But uh, I was pretty surprised on how big the uh, frag plugs actually were. Uh, it's a great way to get some SPS in your tank and not spend a whole lot of money. Uh, also, I was pretty surprised on some of the SPS were actually encrusted on the plug. So I don't know how fast or you know what they came out of the ocean or whatever but uh for sure this is uh i would recommend it guys i took my time acrimlating them uh after the dip i uh, just let it drip for a good hour just slowed it down big time to a couple of drips uh a second and uh, just let it sit like that for a while i used some ro tubing and some regular airline tubing uh i don't uh siphon it with my mouth in fact, I use a uh, turkey baster at the end, and then I just, you know, give it a couple of puffs of that turkey baster, and it just starts dripping by itself. So do not use your mouth, guys. Uh, you don't want to get sick. Not only that, but you don't want to get poisoned because of some Zoas or whatever, Zoas juice hanging out in your uh, tank. So what do you guys use when you guys dip? I know some of you guys are using the bear, um, insect uh, repellent type of poison deal I'm using the coral rx I know we got other stuff coral revive or coral dip different types of coral dip so I want to know what you guys are using to do your uh, coral dips or if you guys even dip at all and if you're not dipping I you know I suggest that you guys do do it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up go ahead and look at the base of the uh, corals I got uh, acros millies all kinds of stuff in here and actually that Millie fell off the frag plug and I glued it. But uh, this next acro that I'm going to show you, you can actually see that it's well encrusted on the uh, frag plug right there. And uh, so far I'm very happy with it. Uh, I'm glad I only paid 50 bucks, you know, splitting the order. And uh, the way we did it was like we laid them all out. You, we floated them all in the tank and then each one of us got a pick. Um... And then when you picked it, you just took it out of the tank or whatever, 
and I just put them in my bucket. So I ended up getting six frags for 50 bucks. And uh, that six frag, my buddy Paul just, you know, said I could go ahead and take it. So I'm not going to argue with the man. And uh, it's going to be in my tank. Uh, if I can frag them later on, you know, I will. And I'll just hook them up. No, no charge or anything like that. Now, another thing that I was running into is where am I going to put all these new frags that I just got? Uh, this rock right here is empty. You know, a perfect candidate. The only place is I don't like using uh, Reef Putty. Uh, my preferred choice is using uh, glue. But even better than glue is uh, drilling holes in the rock. So I'm going to go ahead and take this rock out, scrub it off, whatever trash or nuisance is on there. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the uh, drill. You'd be surprised on how easy it is to go ahead and drill through rock. Um, it's very easy to do and uh, it's not bad. I do recommend wearing gloves because these rocks, at least my live rock, has uh, barnacles. But as you can see, punch holes through this uh, rock, no, no problem at all. Uh, one thing that I'll probably do later on is go ahead and buy an electric drill where I just plug it in and I don't have to charge it because I'm actually using a uh, drill with a 19 volt battery drill and it actually kills the the uh, battery pretty fast when I do use it to drill through rock. Overall I am pretty impressed with it. Uh, frag pack for 100 bucks, 11 frags. Very good. I don't know how long this is going to last but uh, for sure do it. I know you know, I was a little skeptical. I was a lot skeptical. And uh, as you can see, the frags are pretty good size. Um, you know, one thing, they don't label them, but that's okay. I mean, you're getting nice stuff. It's not just, you know, junk or anything like that. And they're pretty well healed. Um, as you can see, I just plugged them in the hole, applied some BSI super glue. I think BSI is the uh, best super glue out there. Uh, it's really cheap and it works really well. But uh, everything's looking good, guys, and uh, it's been a while since uh, I've ordered these, and uh, none of them have really uh, lost color, so really excited about these acros and millies and new additions to the tank, and I uh, hope they grow out pretty well. Well, guys, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and uh, give them a shot. Thanks, guys, and have a good one.